Amen. Well, praise the Lord. Praise the Lord, everybody. This is me, Apostle Esther. I pray that you are already having an amazing day. So thank you so much for joining me. We are on here every Monday through Friday um, at 10 a.m. with new content. And if you are already a subscriber, you know that once that notification bell alerts you that our content is viewable and it is shareable. Um, so I want to thank everyone that um, has taken out the time uh, to share and like my videos. And also those of you that are uh, giving me comments, I appreciate that so much. We're going to get ready to go right into the word of the Lord. But just before doing so, let me just show you what has come in. Super excited, my books. My books are now in. Yes, Believers Believe and Believers Receive. Uh, so I have my copies in now. Um, so I am so thankful. I tell you, there's nothing like um, seeing a project just completed, seeing your vision come to pass, being able to hold it in your hand. When um, we got the books, I, I just sat and I told the apostle, I said, I really have a book. Um, this is just a blessing. And I want to just encourage anyone that has a project that you just have in your mind, um, the way that you begin is you write the first word and you just ask God to breathe on you and allow that thought pattern to flow and you stick with what God is giving you. And before you know it, you'll be just like me. You'll say, and it came to pass. So these are um, available. And those of you that have, um, have written me um, or messaged me and said, you know, can you sign my copy and mail it to me? Um, we will try and get those taken care of in the next couple of days. Um, so the books are in Believers Believe and yes, Believers Receive. Also, we have that uh, Believers Believe tea that's available at I Speak Teas. So if you want your tea um, to match your book, you can just go ahead to I Speak Teas and place your order there. Um, so listen, I'm going to give you a moment to get your Bibles, your notepads, your iPads. We are super excited about the word of the Lord that we're going to release. Give me one moment. We're going to hang out here and we're coming back with the word of the Lord. God bless you. Amen. So we are right back. Uh, for some time now, we have been talking about the effectual, um, effective word of the Lord, and and we have kind of just moved into this series about the treasure in earthen vessels, and we, oh my goodness, we have so many videos that will connect this word, and um, so I ask you to go back through our archives and just follow us. Um, I tend to teach in series, and so... Um, I've been on this series for quite a while, so I'm, I'm almost positive that we're just going to continue to have extensions from the same word. Uh, but uh, And then earlier this week, I just so felt led to share some of the scriptures that the Lord uh, would have me to read out of Psalm. And they have just been a blessing um, to me, and it's been a blessing to those of you that are following us. But today, I want to go back to 2 Corinthians chapter 4 and verse 7. And the Bible says, I'm going to be reading out of the King James translation. And it says, but we have this treasure in earthen vessels that the excellency of the power may be of God and not of us. The excellency of power. And that's what I want to talk about. The, the power, the treasure that God has placed on the inside of us. The writer said that it is an excellency of power um, that is of God and not of ourselves. And so whenever we have the power of God, the strength of God, the ability of God, the character of God, the nature of God down on the inside of us, it is him that is working in us, through us, by us, and for us. The Bible says there is an excellency of power. And when I think about that word, I also think about how the writer says, Oh Lord, our God, how excellent is thy name in all the earth. So whatever God um, is allowing to 
come forth out of us. That is himself being displayed in the realm of excellence. And so when we think about that, that's why sometimes we can't do things um, and, and, and we're just like, I'm just going to let that go. No, we want to move into a vein that we'll, when we do the work of the Lord, we are reflecting the glory of God from a realm of excellence. Um, and, and when we think about excellence, we want the perfection of the Lord to work through us. And when we look at that, uh, the Bible talks about being not conformed to this world, but be transformed by the renewing of our mind. And when we look at that word transform, it is an, 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 an internal, I had a little challenge with that word. It's an internal uh, change um, that takes place on the inside and it exudes to the outside of us. And so whenever God is working on the inside, God is working an excellent work on the inside so that when we conform to the um, um, external appearance, we are exemplifying the excellency of God. And so whatever we do, we want to move into a realm, a thing that when people see what God is doing in our lives, they can say that is an excellent state of the Lord being exemplified. And you may say, well, it's not that important. No, it is that important that whatever we do, we exemplify our father. We exemplify the character of God. Oh, Lord, our God, how excellent is thy name in all the earth. So when we go out, we're representing the excellency of the Lord Jesus Christ because he has imputed himself down on the inside of us. And when he's on the inside of us, the Bible said, let your light shine. And so Paul is saying here that in these earthen vessels, no matter how frail or fragile we are, on the inside, there is a power of his excellency that's working on the inside of us. And the Bible says that God be revealed and, and not ourselves. So that's what God is doing. He is reflecting his image um, on the inside of us. And then it shows on the outside. You know, sometimes you go places and people say, oh my goodness, you're just glowing. That's the excellency. That's the attribute of his power that he is working on the inside of us. And now it's beginning to show on the outside of us. I love that because I believe that as believers, that we should want to reflect the excellent power of the Lord Jesus Christ that is working in our lives. I love that passage. Oh Lord, our God, how excellent is thy name in all the earth. Can you just imagine everybody that is a believer that we are beginning to say, oh Lord, our God, how excellent is thy name. Why? Because we're exemplifying those attributes. We're exemplifying those characteristics. We are reflecting the image of our father. From It works from the inside out. Oh, I'm excited about that the power of God that worketh on the inside of us. And I believe that's why we have to rest. That's why we have to spend time with God so that he can reveal his excellent attributes that he's placed on the inside of us. Well, that blessed me. I pray that it will bless you as well. As you already know, I am Apostle Esther. I am an ambassador of the Lord Jesus Christ. I am simply a good news carrier of the gospel of the Lord Jesus Christ. I want you to continue uh, to have an amazing day. Remember that my book is available on Amazon, Believers Believe and Believers Receive. Um, it is available in the Kindle copy and it is also available in the um, in the soft cover copy. Um, so go ahead and go over to Amazon, get your book on the day. Know that I love you with the love of the Lord Jesus Christ. Again, thank you for liking, sharing, and if you so desire, why not go ahead and subscribe to my YouTube channel? That way you'll always be updated with what's going on with me and what we're releasing and what's new uh, that we have going on over at Kings Court Ministries. Have an amazing day. We'll be back with you on tomorrow. God bless you.